why can't I get an autism diagnosis for my PDA child or teen? I'm gonna tell you why, and then I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips to facilitate you getting the support you need through an autism diagnosis. Okay, first, PDA children are often very high masking, meaning they appear typical in settings where they don't perceive safety and therefore internalize that threat response. So this could be at school, it could be around grandparents. It is also often during an autism evaluation, children mask. This was the case with my son. Second, when they are accommodated, they can appear quite typical. So if you're always providing that nervous system regulation with them, the outside looking in is not gonna see their struggles. The third is that nervous system activation accumulates. So it can be very fluctuating the way that their behavior appears in one setting versus another. And there will be times where you say, oh, they appear so typical, right? Additionally, people have a very strict conceptualization of autism, which is like, if they make eye contact, talk and have friends, they're not autistic. Okay, so PDA children are never going to qualify if you have a practitioner who views autism like that. What we have to do is we have to start using the language and framing of autism to our advantage by looking at the DSM-5, which emphasizes two things, a social communication disorder and restricted and repetitive interests. Even though your child might not have high support needs around social communication, their support needs are much more around nervous system regulation and sensory, we need to frame it for practitioners, right? So your child may have restricted and repetitive interests, but they're not trains. They might be other children. They might be social in nature. They might be a certain Disney character or a superhero. The second is their social communication differences are going to be much more subtle. So we want to look at things like, are they processing language in phrases and in context, or does it seem like they process each word individually, which is just all language processing? I hope I said that right. It's not my area of expertise. Um, or do they seem to be an experiential learner rather than understanding top-down concepts? They have like the component pieces of each experience and then they make meaning from the bottom up. So we need to start framing it for the evaluators so that they understand. And if they don't, you can always choose a different one.